Hi Sam, uh, this will be some final video feedback for you on the web banner. Uh, we've got two weeks. If you need any encouragement, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. I bid you strength. Uh, disappointed with your <coughs> print ad, uh, but the ingredients have come together especially well on the web banner. And so maybe you can use this to inform the print design, you know, if it's not too late. Um, to, to bring them closer together. I like your choice of type. It's not a corporate typeface, but it's a script that goes well with the um, script of the logo. And your silhouettes and the effects, the glow effects, plus this um, was like a lotus pad or lotus leaf. Anyway, that provides a nice structure, kind of hints at the tropical quality of the uh, resort and spa. As does the teapot, by the way, and the oil essential oils. I guess. Yes, um, the animation is um, competent, and what, what what could improve it? Well, it, it it blinks a little bit. You know, I'm thinking of driving down, say, um, Central Avenue in Albuquerque, Route 66, and the old kind of neon signs. It's um, <clears throat> as to my eye, at least, it has. A little bit of that quality, uh, which isn't bad, but it's a little nostalgic, perhaps. Um, I'm thinking of like tiki lounges, <laughs> but I mean that's you know it's appealing too. Um, curious to see how you might convey a broader sense of the environment, um, because it, <clears throat> if there are beaches, you know, uh, then I wouldn't really necessarily know, but. Um, it's, it's beautiful as it is visually, and I know you know there's not much time left to, to make changes. I'm going to open it up in Photoshop just to see how it's structured. Uh, Samuel, it's a nice package, and I see that you've got screenshots uh, of your process, design process. Mm. Uh, that's great. Now, the idea is to, you know, perhaps, it's not required, but to knit these in with your uh, narrative on your um, f final reflection. In other words, to have it an illustrated um, record of your progress through the class. And <clears throat> this is useful not just for uh, this particular class, but any creative class where you're sketching and doing research, um, tackling new technical challenges. It's worth documenting, you know, perhaps keep a project diary. Um, and some places will require you uh, to to keep a process notebook. Um, here is your an, your anima, animation in Photoshop. Off screen, I see your layers, and it looks like I'm, I might be missing some. So you know, sometimes there's the same issue between embedding versus linking um, in a Photoshop file. <clears throat> but it looks like I have all the ingredients. So usually uh, in a low res file like this, um, the screen placeholder is a sufficient resolution. I guess is the best way of saying that. Let me back it up. You have it looping forever. And I guess it's uh, 15 frames long. Well, <clears throat> there is, if you haven't discovered it already, and it looks like you might have, uh, there's this thing called tweening, which, you know, where, where you select two frames, you insert some transition frames in there. There's several parameters that you can change. Um, and then you can <clears throat> change the interval uh, of those extra frames to something short, perhaps, you know, no delay. And uh, let's just see what we get. Remember, you know, previewing in Photoshop, for some reason, it's um, not as smooth as looking at a native GIF, say, embedded in a web page. Well, uh, you get the idea. That's tweening. It looks like, though, that you know how to do that. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Great job. Great ingredients. Uh, just consider, perhaps, you know, giving a broader context. Uh, to your client.